Hello everyone and welcome back to Bravo Leader AD YouTube channel. In today's video we will have an in-depth look into the Anvil Karak, a really amazing exploration ship. So keep watching and uh, I'll see you later at the end of the video. Thank you. Bye. Here we are. We are going into the hangar and look at this beauty guys. Isn't it beautiful isn't it huge this is the anvil karak it is a, an exploration ship uh, manufactured by anvil aerospace look at this you can see here it's magnificent it's huge look at the turret on the side we have a turret on the other side as well you have aft turret here and we have a remote turret at the top so this is the uh, expedition um, skin. Now, in order to get in, you can open the main ramp from this panel here, and the ramp goes down. Now you can see that you know you get into the garage. So here you can fit easily two Ursa rovers, uh, three. Probably rocks, multiple uh, multiple bikes. I mean, yeah, it's 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 quite uh, it's quite handy. And if you want to prevent the um, vehicles to get too close to the door, you can raise this ramp. So you know you give them you know like a, a stop, so you have uh, you have room to get in. Now we have this door here brings us into the cargo area. So there is an elevator here to get to the upper levels. And here there is a section that goes uh, into the docking collar. Uh, you can you cannot still do this um, onto the stations, but it will be it will be possible. So yeah, this is the entrance to the docking collar. Here we have uh, some escape pods, and then we go back into the cargo area. Now here you can see the cargo area. I don't know if in the future it will be possible to open those. Uh, uh, those um, panels at the moment is not possible okay so this ship has 450 uh, skew which is not bad actually even for uh, cargo hauling okay you can use the elevator to go down and then there is a, a third section so there are three sections uh, each for a 150 uh, skew of cargo now we go out from the cargo area and we have in this section where there is an elevator to the upper levels there are more um, there are more escape pods here and then if you go onto the side we get to the aft turret here we are and then if we go all around it we go back to the elevator area okay very nice and neat I love this uh, ground floor now from the back elevator okay we should be able to we should be able to get to the other decks so the first one that we will see is the habitation deck there we go so the habitation deck uh you know you, the, both of these two corridors are exactly the same so we can get here on the left and we have a glimpse at the med bay. So the first thing that you should do when you get on uh, on, the, on a Karak is to go to the med bay on the habitation deck. This is because in this section where you can see here, you need to open all the doors. Okay, so there are two beds, and there is the actual med bay. So you can uh, heal yourself on this uh, uh, on this bed, and you can set here doing this F and then set as preferred ICU you can set this ship as your spawning point so if you die hmm, you are uh, then uh, redirected onto this um, onto this table then there is a very handy storage room on this side for supplies I wonder why it's not open okay you can see there are like uh, multiple supplies here Know, gloves and uh, there is a, like a microscope 
still not i mean nothing of this is uh, is working there is uh, like a lot of water here hmm? uh, and then if we get out from this door there is another room which is the doctor's office so you know from here you can check mm, low, mm, vital signs from your uh, um, from the patients there are like you know uh, o2 canisters there is a panel here uh, for access I mean, I'm not sure how much of this is going to be usable in the future, but you know, still. And the Envy logo on the on the door. Yeah, you know, you see, very nice. We open the door, another door, and we get out from the med bay. So this elevator is going to bring us down later. We will uh, we'll have a look at this one uh, later. And then we have the actual habitation section. So this one is the mess hall. Get down a, a small flight of stairs. There is a window to the outside. There is a pantry uh, with a, some, um, you know, cooking area. Mm, there is this uh, beautiful door where all the uh, crew could uh, have his uh, lunch. And then we have, um, I don't know, is this probably a kitchenette or something? But no, this seems like where you put uh, uh, cutlery and other bits and pieces. There are like some Chinese uh, uh, wok noodle uh, boxes, really, really nice. Okay. On the other side, though, we have the actual habitation for the crew, so the crew quarters. Another flight of stairs brings you down, and we have a toilet here. Very nice. The mirror is not reflecting anything, so we are kind of vampires here. Uh, I think these are the actual uh, toilets. Yep, there we are. Going on, we have here, we have a very interesting pool with the Envil Aerospace logo. And then we, here, this door, we have the actual quarters for the, uh, for the crew. There are one, two, three, four. There is a couch and five uh, beds. The crew for this uh, uh, ship is uh, six. We are still without our soul, so we cannot be reflected in the um, <laughs> in the mirror. And here are the showers. Very nice. Their forge. Nice. Open the door, please. Cool. There are some cabinets with the Envil Aerospace logo. Very handy as well, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so four, five. Sorry, there are only five beds because this ship has a captain, and the captain has its own quarters. So one day, when everything is going to be implemented, the captain will be in this in this um, in this office. There is a, a chair where you can access a panel. You know, for shields, uh, exit, uh, you know, there are some uh, controls here for the captain. Uh, I think there is, yeah, there is a teddy bear here, and then the captain has the bed, which isn't different from the one, uh, from the one of the normal crew, you know. A cabinet, a section for, I don't know, probably armors, and then the private um, bathroom. So bathroom and shower all in here. So we get out from this section. And then we are finally onto the bridge. So the bridge is, uh, so we have a lower bridge, which is here, and we have an upper bridge. So the lower bridge has the pilot, the co and the two co-pilots. Okay, and then there is this very interesting, uh, you know, glass um, window, which gives you quite a lot of visibility. Okay, if you if we turn back, we can see also the upper bridge. So the upper bridge is um, just there. Uh, we can access so um, we can access that upper bridge using an elevator that is uh, at the entrance of the um, of the low of the bridge itself. So we have also here some servers, probably for data running at some point, and then we have the elevator here. So we can call the elevator. And from the elevator, we go to the upper bridge. Here's the elevator, 
This is the upper bridge. We have this is the um, chair for the remote turret at the top. So you access this chair and you have visibility of the upper turret. Let's have a look. Power on, enter remote turret. And as you can see, we have visibility from above. If we go here, we can see the car rack from the outside. Okay, really nice. Cool. Now, we get out from this seat. On the other side, there is a support seat that we still do not know what this is going to do. There is a radar section where we can see uh, Everus Harbor and it's probably going to work, you know, now uh, with uh, showing what is uh, what is going to happen. And here we have the captain chair. OK, uh, you can pilot the ship from here as well, but you have more controls uh, downstairs in the in the pilot seat. So if we go back now and we get out from the bridge, we have some escape pods still not working. And then we are on the uh, technical deck. So on this side, we have the um, mechanical um, mechanical section where you would be able to repair uh, like components. So it would be really interesting to have an engineering section working, you know, like this. And then on the other side, we have the really nice section which is not implemented yet, uh, and it is the drones. So the car rack will have drones that you could use to explore. And from here, from these two seats, one and the other one on the other side, you would be able to pilot those drones. Now, if we keep moving down, down the corridor, we have one of the most interesting parts of this, uh, of this ship, which is the external hangar that can uh, host a anvil pieces. So I have uh, uh, the pieces as well. So you can open the hangar from here. So open door and you, as you can see the panels at the top are going to slide and the hangar is going to open and when the hangar is open you can you can take off with the with the pieces now we go you know you can see here the pieces and we get here there where you have the doors to the hangar bay that we can open and here is the Fishes that you can access using the uh, door at the back. Yeah, this is a, no, like a normal fishes. Okay, very nice. Now we can go back into into the into the carac from this other door. Open the door. Now, if we go into, so we have, here is the uh, elevator that we use to go um, to the habitation deck from the garage. If we go on the side, if we go on the side, we have the side turret. So from here, there is this long corridor into the side turret, as you can see here. There is a, you know, same kind of corridor on the other side of the ship. So this is uh, totally symmetrical. Then if we get in here, we have the passage that will give you visibility of the engineering section. And from there you go to the other, uh, to the other turret. So let's have a look at the engineering section because it's really nice. So the engineering section here is huge. And when I say huge, I mean really huge. So we have the very big engines here, as you can see. Then there is a ladder that will bring you downstairs, or you can use this very handy elevator here. Let's use uh, uh, let's use the ladder for the moment. So we go down from here. Okay, down, down, down. Here's the section where you can access. Uh, the various components of the ship. You know, this is the shield generator, and uh, well, it says uh, shield generator here. It says life support here. 
that's the elevator that we saw at the uh, upper floor let's just call it for uh, later if we go on the side doors we have you know like the engines the fuel tank the coolers you know very very nice on the other side there's exactly the same there are exactly the same components because this ship has uh, same components on both sides now we go back to the upper engineering we get out from the engineering section on the other side but as we said it, this ship is um, absolutely symmetrical so it's not also you can see here the other turret nice we can get up oops we can get out from this door here is again the hangar and we can get to the uh, upper uh, floor so the upper floor the, um, is the cartography deck so one day when the exploration is going to be um, it's going to be part of the of the game we will have this deck uh, working and as you can see here there is this star map that you could you know access and do I don't know something probably this map really really nice really nice if we go through these doors here so there is another escape pod here and one on the other side and then we have the actual airlock so we had the one um, one airlock at the at the ground floor where you can uh, um, where you can dock to a station and this one is if you want to go EVA so if you go here then this is not magnetized anymore so from here you can access the space or you can go down if you want you know with a jump to the to the fishes so from here you know you can just walk uh, around this and um, I don't know why but you know you, why you would do that but you know still, um, still something that can be can be done so yeah i think we watched everything on uh, on the ship let's just go uh, let's just go back so we can see how to get out from here from a different uh, from a different route so if we go to any of the other decks, so let's say we go to the technical deck. Du -du -du. Technical deck. And we move through the corridors. We get to the midship elevator. Cool. It's here. We can call this elevator. And this one gives us the possibility to get to the sub deck, which is the uh, which is the deck where we have the cargo bay. So we go down. We see deck two habitation, and deck one is the uh, cargo hold. And from here we are at the garage, where we can then exit the ship. There is also this very handy um, service ladder. That will bring you to the um, uh, to the technical deck. So you from here there is a, a there is a ladder that will bring you uh, next to the to the hangar, and from here we can go out. And that would be it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, walkthrough into the Karak. Thanks a lot. Fly safe. Have always a lot of fun in the verse, and as I usually say, bravo leader out. Bye. Hello again. I hope you enjoyed this video that brought us inside the MV Karak. Please, if you haven't already, uh, hit the subscribe button for uh, uh, notifications about my activities on YouTube. If you haven't already, also you can follow me on the different ne social networks that are uh, appearing on the bottom left side of this screen. Um, I think that would be everything for today. I wish you a good day. I hope you always have a lot of fun in the verse. Fly safe. And as I usually say, bravo leader out. Bye.